Okay, so three, two, one, let's close. What is going on guys? I hope you all have a great week so far. In today's video, I actually want to start with a little question for you guys. What do you guys think is the most impressive muscle on a male's body? <laughs> all right guys, I'm pretty sure some, if not most of you, think about a specific part on a male's body right now which is actually a muscle too. But this body part is not gonna be the topic of this video, but it's gonna be all about your... Down. Come on, more energy. Chest. So a lot of you guys have asked me on Instagram how to build an impressive chest. Because in my opinion, guys, the chest is just the most aesthetic, most impressive body part on a male's upper body. It just looks majestic. It looks like it's a freaking gladiator. So if you need tips to build an amazing chest physique, you're on the right video today because today I'm going to provide you with all the tips you need to know in order to build an amazing chest. Before we start going into my three top chest exercises, my favorite chest workouts, I'm going to provide you guys with a little bit of information you need to know to build a great chest. So first of all, we have to analyze the chest as a muscle itself. So the chest essentially consists of two main muscle groups, which is the lower part and the upper part of the chest. So for a lot of people, also through genetics already, the lower part is developed a lot better than the upper part. And that's also having to do with the workouts you guys do. Because I see a lot of people in the gym, they only focus on the lower chest. They do a lot of dips, a lot of bench press and all that stuff. So these are amazing exercises, don't get me wrong, but they have to be connected and put in the right system with upper chest exercises. So if you only focus on the lower chest, this part will stand out a lot. Whereas this part is just gonna be totally invisible. That's not something we want. We want a nice balanced chest muscle so it looks good from every angle. Especially if you wear like deep cut tank tops and all that stuff, it looks a lot better if your upper chest is popping out. So that's why I wanna give you guys the advice on focusing a little bit more on your upper chest in your workout. Even though everything is important, just make sure focus is on the upper chest because this is usually the part of which a lot of people are lacking a good development. Just to round up the information guys, of course, as you already know, as I already taught you before, you have to focus on your nutrition, you have to focus on the right exercises, you have to focus on the right form, all that stuff, those are basics, but today I really want to get into the certain exercises you guys can do in order to develop an amazing chest PC. So right now I'm just getting a grab outside, getting a cab, driving to Oliver's place. We're gonna have a little workout there in his gym. I think his roommate is coming too, so I can introduce you guys to him. He's from Denmark as well, and then we guys are gonna film a little session for you, and I hope this is gonna be helpful for you in order to develop the chest you like. Alright guys, so I arrived in the area of Oliver's gym now. It's freaking hot outside, like even though it's apparently rain season, like it never rains, I don't know what's going on. I'm just waiting for Oliver, we're gonna check out the gym. It's always kind of hard when you go to a completely new gym, you never know what kind of equipment they have. But I'm pretty confident that I have everything that I need to show you guys today, what I need to do my chest workout that I want to show you, and yeah, let's just go over and see what they have. All right guys, so I just made it to the gym. I don't actually know where Oliver is. He might have ditched me, but... Oh wait, there he actually is. Damn, guys. And he just took his <laughs> t-shirt off as well, so he seems to be pretty motivated. That's awesome for the video today. Gonna and hit chest. Yeah, exactly. You can take a look at his chest already. Nah, Maybe not, all right. So nice. let's wait for that later. And now we're gonna start in the gym here. It's a pretty damn cool looking old school gym. I like that. It's not too modern. We're gonna sweat a lot. There's no freaking air conditioning here. But whatever, we're just gonna gonna start with some chest exercises now. And then let's gonna get it, bro. Bruh. Then I'm gonna explain you guys how to build a chest like this. All right guys, one thing that's really important before you start every single workout, you always have to warm up your rotator cuff, your rotator muscle right here to make sure you don't get an injury because like if you train chest or shoulders, they're really sensitive muscles. So make sure to warm it up and Oliver is gonna show you two different exercises you can do in order to warm up your shoulders. So this one is freaking good. I don't know what it's called. 
but I always do it. Just yeah. to warm up the shoulders, you can really feel the burn and it's nice. And then some lateral raises. Lateral raises. To get the shoulders. Exactly. And I do yeah, exactly. So this makes sure that all your parts of the shoulders are getting the right warm up. And you don't end up with an injury and lose all your gains within a matter of months. <laughs> <laughs> We gotta do bicep curls though. Alright, he just wants to be pumped for the video, so yeah. Here's Oliver doing some bicep curls. <laughs> That's a perfect form. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so like I told you before, I want to focus a little bit more on the upper chest today. That's why we, instead of doing a flat bench press, starting with an inclined bench press. That is what Oliver is doing right now. He's already warming up with no weight, just doing as many reps as possible and so our chest is properly warmed up before we actually start putting the weights on and showing you the proper form of the exercise. All right guys, so the first exercise, incline bench press, I'm gonna go through the process of performing the exercise in the right way. So first you gotta lay down, then you gotta find the right width for your fingers, you're gonna grab the bar and then push it up and then you go down really slow and then you go up fast. And once you go down, you breathe in, breathe out when you go up. Alright guys, and now only for scientific reasons and in order to show the human anatomy in the right way, I think we have to take our t-shirts off. <laughs> so let's go. Three, two, one. I think now we're ready for the workout. Let's go. <laughs> Guys, done with the inclined chest press. Now moving on to the second exercise, which is cable crossover. This is an amazing exercise because it stretches your whole chest to a full extent. It's just great if you want to build that wide looking chest. Second exercise, cable crossover. I'm going to show you how to do it. So you got to grab both ribs. So if you have it, you have to balance it out so it's on the right position. Then you got to step forward like this. And then you pull it towards you. And you gotta squeeze your chest when you do it. That was nice. How did it feel? You can feel the pump, it's insane. Like especially like you sweat here so much. Yeah. So it burns some extra calories while you work out, which is perfect. You wanna stay ripped yeah. and shredded. Alrighty, so far we have done something for our upper chest and also the width of our chest. And now the last exercise we're gonna do for today, it's gonna be... Dips. So Oliver, what are dips exactly good for? Dips are really, really good for a lower chest and it's crazy good for your triceps as well. Exactly. So it's a good exercise. So it's a compound exercise that focus on different muscle groups at the same time. And we even have some chains here, so if you feel like we can do a lot more weight, we can put on these really cool looking chains and gonna do even more weight. I think that's my favorite fashion outfit of you. <laughs> How many did I do? How was the form? Uh, <laughs> let's just leave it like that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So Oliver's form right now wasn't the best, but cheating is fine sometimes. If you do three good sets and one cheat sets, just to get out everything of your muscle, to really burn off everything you want. In this case, cheating is fine, and we can live with a little bit of a bad form. Thank you, bro. <laughs> Thank you. All right, guys. Now we're finished with the chest workout and now we're going to show you what we achieved here today. So three, two, one, let's pose. Alrighty guys, so we just finished with the workout. It was amazing. We met our friend Jack. He's actually from England and he's super ripped. He Dude. was crazy big, like he, was he crazy told me big, he yeah. used to compete in the USA and stuff. Yeah. It was amazing to meet him because like people always think we are ripped, right? But then we met this guy, we fed like little tiny shrimps. Like, like we are not even bacteria <laughs> compared to this guy, like it was crazy. But now we're yeah. heading to the supermarket. Oliver is going to cook a really nice healthy meal for me. Hey, hey. what's up? What's up? What's up, Pop Ritz? 
That was unexpected, right? But Oliver has a lot of local friends here, so he introduced me to everyone now. What I actually want to say is we're going to the supermarket. This guy is going to cook a really healthy meal for me. And then hopefully today I'm going to see you naked. <laughs> guys so I just made it to Oliver's place we bought some food some sweet potatoes some veggies and also some chicken Oliver is gonna cook that for me but in the meantime I can introduce you finally to Mr. Mikkel Morante nice to meet you guys nice to meet you too and uh, so what's your nationality I'm half Danish half Filipino but born and raised in Denmark perfect can you greet the Filipino fans Kumusta ka? Ako si Mikkel. Ikaw? Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, that was Mikkel, he didn't make it to the gym because he had like some dancing video going on But now you met him, so you will probably see him in another video Of course <laughs> Alright guys, so we just finished cooking these amazing meals Thank you so much Oliver, you're the best chef Thank you uh, Anyway, now we have like a shot of It's uh, Filipino vodka No, it's actually just water, hashtag we don't drink <laughs> And Mikkel just telling us that when you say like cheers in Tagalog, it's um the guy. So the guy Oliver, <laughs> the guy bro. <laughs> that was a strong water. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a like, write down a lot, a lot of comments, and also subscribe to my channel. And then most importantly, follow me on Instagram. Okay, and also of course follow this guy on Instagram. And also this guy, I will link them up here down here. And yeah, I hope you have also, a great. Jack. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> Jack, the guy from the gym. The guy from the gym, the big guy. Oh yeah, the big guy. <laughs> okay. Also follow Oliver, Mikkel and Jack, the big buff dude that we met in the gym. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna see you soon. Stay tuned.